What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You know what the best picture is? The selfie. If you like taking selfies, man, you need to get yourself a selfie stick. This is a K06, and I just want to show it to you. We'll try it out, too. Um, this is uh, a fairly inexpensive selfie stick, but it seemed like it had a bunch of pretty nice features, so I thought we'd give it a try. First of all, this just fell out. Looks like we got a little button cell battery here, 1632, and that'll be because, I'm assuming, boom, we have a remote right there. Uh, first of all, look at this. When it's all folded up and compact, uh, it is very travelable, and, you know, this is probably about, oh, seven inches long, and so you can put this in a bag in your backpack, even in your pocket, to be really honest. It's not very heavy. It's all plastic, so it's pretty light. Uh, you can feel probably the most weight up here. It looks like this poor part of it has metal in it. And I will say it has like a matte, well, not quite a rubberized, but a matte finish on the rubberized portion down here. So if we take a look, we've got um, a little bit of like a flower petal type of tripod down here, but really nice knurling. I, you won't lose grip on this. And I actually really like this. Sometimes these are really slick plastic and you can see how they kind of curl around, very curved shape. And then if we fly these open, see there are little spring-loaded or detents in them. And then we do have a little angled cut right there so that when I put it down, you actually have flat feet on the ground. Now, I will say, even though this thing is completely compacted, the center pole here does not touch the table. And that's actually really important because a lot of these, when you lift these up, this is actually further down. And so you have to kind of push this up. So I actually really like that. That's actually a big deal. I have opened up tripods before and then you're kind of pushing these, especially when they're tight, you're kind of pushing those up. So the fact that this one uh, will sit flush as soon as you open the bottom legs, that's kind of a nice feature. And then that button cell right here is this little remote, which should, let's see if I extend this out here, then I should be able to slide this out. It's kind of locked in place when it's compacted. You can open this up right here and put in the battery. Oh, and there is a battery in there already, which is actually really nice. And not only do you get a battery, but you get a spare as well. So it's just as easy as that. Open it up with my fingers. Let me see if I can close it up here. All right, and then to power this on, again, rubberized texture here. And then we have a shutter button. So if I power this on, it's in pairing mode. You can pair it to your phone and this little button will act as the shutter volume uh, button on an iPhone. And I'm not sure exactly on Android, but basically it'll uh, emulate that. And then you can use these, you know, if you're setting this sucker up to take a group shot, you can also use it, slide it right in here like this. And now when you're holding it, I can use it to start the shot of me or yourself or stop it without having to reach up here and turn it off and on. So that's pretty nice. You can see here we have a metal telescoping stick. And let's see if I extend it all the way out here. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna kind of say from here to the base of the holder, that's probably, oh, 20 inches, I'm gonna guess. I think that's about as far as out as it'll extend. You can see there's a little groove, a little channel running down the sticks here and that's how it stays aligned and then up here we have a plastic base and this is really you can see how it's resistive and it has a detents to lock it into place and then i'm just kind of curious how far this will angle back so you can see even though this is where the plastic holder kicks in you can get it angled quite a bit here and then obviously it'll fold all the way down there now on here what you have is a little what up kind of plastic window, chrome window, and that's for shooting selfies. So if I were to hold this up and I have the phone in here, what this does is it gives me a little bit of a look at what the phone is seeing. So, especially if you're using kind of the back camera, i.e. this camera, and you can't see the screen, you do know if you're in shot, if you can see things behind you, that kind of deal. If you're putting it with the screen forward, then you could certainly flip it around like this and just actually look at the screen. Now I'm gonna flip this down here and this up here. And then I'm assuming these are spring loaded right up there, We're really tight. And then you can see here these little rubber, I think these are silicone. So you should be able to, this is an XS Max, holds, holds that just fine. Because you can't tighten this, lock this down, it does, it does move a little, flip a little, flop a little right there. But you know, when you kind of got it hanging out there, 
should be should hold it in place well enough and then like I said if you're using it like this and then flipping this up so that you've got this side you can see it in the mirror so you can see what it's what it's seeing all right let's try this thing outside it's snowing out here pretty nice winter I think you would know what to expect from a selfie stick and so I'm using it here walking around works great I can see myself yikes a little cowlick up there but hey you want a selfie stick you want to shoot some video you want to film your most important memories make sure that you're in them you know particularly on vacations I know notice that not in a lot of shots then you can pick this one up I'll put a link to it in the description Peter Rumpanda out Thank <laughs> you.